Hi Gemini, welcome to your reading for January. So, Happy New Year! How is 2019 treating you so far? You know, Gemini, I was I was meditating on your energy and I was um I kept getting this feeling of you guys being really close to reaching a, a personal goal. And um I feel like sort of like is it like the moon energy like it, you you can't really see what's coming and I feel it's going to have a lot to do with the um with the lunar eclipse on the 20 21st of January and what come what's coming um what's coming forward after that that lunar eclipse happens is something that you can really see coming I really feel like it's like a turn of events it's turn it's like a cycle that is beginning and it's really like it's like almost like you, you got luck on your side i'm hearing like lucky 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 gemini that's what i <laughs> you guys are gonna get really lucky uh gonna get a lot of opportunity wow look what we have exactly really 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 good vibes just good vibes and i think you guys can really use some of that some of that positive energy, some of that, I know, personal power, just feeling, you know, um, feeling excited, feeling vibrant, feeling alive. I really feel that that's coming up for you guys. So really positive, actually. And we're starting off with the Ten of Cups. Second card, wow, Gemini. Money, good money. I'm feeling good. Okay. Well, I guess, I guess, I guess it's Gemini's turn. Ten, ten. So exactly like new cycles beginning. Tree of coins. Work. Working in groups. I feel like um, some of you are starting a new job this month. So maybe this month, maybe February. Um, I'm also hearing Pisces season, Pisces season, so it could be end of February, and that's something that is just here to stay, I'm hearing, it's here to stay, it's here to stay, so whatever is coming towards you, what's literally coming towards you, you're not chasing nobody, okay, you're not running after nothing, you're just simply letting people know if you need somebody, holla at me. But I'm not going to chase after you. Because I got plenty of options, okay? And that's really what I'm feeling with this. Like, people coming to you. It's like you have this energy around you that's just like, everybody wants a piece of Gemini. It's like, okay, can can I just like fit in over here? Like, it's that energy I'm picking up. So, okay. So, let's see what else is on the table. We go from the seven into the eight of swords. I have a feeling that this has something to do with um, your intuition. And there's like this, this feeling, there is somebody coming towards you in this month with an offer. Maybe it was like late December. And it's like you feel something is off with this person, okay? It could be a water energy, could be a water sign. Mm. But an offer could be like work related or something like that. It could most definitely also be like, um, of course, love related applied to your situation. But what I feel is that you had this feeling about this person. Like deep down, you had this feeling about a person and they... They've most definitely showed you, um, showed you like the real, I'm hearing. Like it showed you like that true colors. And what happened with that is that you sort of got, I feel that for some reason you had this feeling, but you couldn't put your finger on it, what it was. You couldn't, it was, I hear as well, like we're colleagues. So could be a colleague, like somebody that was in your area, maybe was a friend, close friend. Um, you know, somebody you know from the family or something like that. Mm. 
it's like you feel this and on the outside it's like no i just you know i have this cup for you you know and um let's work together and this is something else this is something else this is not that person this was something else and you just felt something about this person and because you couldn't put your finger on it, you were like oh my god i'm not going crazy i'm the one tripping and I'm the one just, just being a little sensitive or something. Like, do I need to go and check in and meditate? Am I off? What is wrong? With, what is going on with my radar? Because Gemini, you guys can always tell. You observate people. You can see their the way they use their eyes, the way they use their mouth, the way um, they chose they choose certain words. You know, it's like you observate people. So when you feel something off, something off. It's just, you know just true <laughs> so that was like adding you a little bit in your head space like gosh what what is going on like what i feel this but i i don't have any evidence of it on the outside appearance appearance so feeling that that's coming out i already feel like it sort of came out and you're like you're like sort of like see i'm never wrong like almost like it's you with your intuition. It's like, I'm glad that I still have that one working because it actually is my savior. So feeling like you're connecting back to that very strongly this month. So that's a, on the table. Also feel that people see you doing really good. People seeing you, you know, working on your things. You're, you're building up this, this uh, empire for yourself. Uh, maybe with some people. I do really feel that there's this energy, there's this person. Uh, if you're in a relationship right now, as we speak, I feel this person is so um, equal to you. Because you guys have like this grown-up energy. Yeah, so you guys can really um, have long talks about deep things, which is very good for Gemini. Um, but then also have both your inner kids come out at the same time and play. So it's like you you have almost four people in a room. It's like your two inner childs that are, you know, taking over the energy. And then you have your two grown-up self version, right? So I feel that that's a very interesting connection you got going on with that person. And I only see that, th that deepening. So if you just recently started dating somebody, that's it looks really serious. And our person is also really crazy about you. So that's what I'm getting for the people that are currently in a relationship. If you're single, not seeing anybody, then I do definitely see something coming towards you. And it could most definitely be a water sign or an earth sign. But... Having the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles coming out and the Ace of Pentacles. <sighs> Gemini, you can't run from love. <laughs> can't run forever. I'm hearing. Let me see. So, some energy here and there uh, going over the past. I do really feel that even though this person, you were right about it and you didn't really let that person come that close, you still feel a little bit sad about it. Not for long, not for very long, but there is some energy around you that's like, gosh, why why did, did this have to happen? Like, why? I just really didn't, I just wasn't really up for it right now. Like, really, like, such good things are going and happening and then I have to deal with it. A type of person like that so that's what i'm getting from these cards let me see so any any disappointments is very minor this it's it's it just falls away from all the success you're having right now i do feel that people are talking about you gemini they see you doing really really good they can't really touch your energy although they will try but they can't they can't really touch your energy just so just keep focusing on you keep doing you Let me see, where is this Knight of Swords about? Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords. 
And we have the Knight of Wands. So somebody coming rushing in. Could be somebody from the past. Could be a fire sign. Also an air sign. Uh, Aquarius, Libra or Gemini. So like yourself or maybe it is a Sagittarius, Leo or a... Um, wow. Um, oh my God. I never had this. Aries. Wow. Sorry. I was... <laughs> It's really in my mind. Sorry, I never had that before. That's new. Um, I feel like for some reason, there's this person in your surrounding. Maybe they're coming rushing in. Sometimes you can't really feel if they are attacking you or if they're really attractive to you and just don't know how to talk. I'm sorry, is what I'm getting with this. It's like, they can come off so passionate that they almost, it almost feels like they're literally attacking you, like attacking your energy or something. Like it's just a little bit too much, you know? So I see somebody coming, running in, rushing in your life, very passionate, very Aries energy, like overwhelming. I'm here, I am here, <laughs> okay? <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I do see somebody coming in with that energy for you. So let's see what he is about, he or she. Leo energy. Wow. So, sun and the strength card. So both Leo cards. So it could most definitely be a Leo rushing into your life with this knight of wands with it. So, um, yes, if you're dealing with a Leo, then that person can most definitely be a little bit overwhelming, okay? But he means well. He means well. He just, oh, he or she, sorry, uh, just, I feel this masculine energy coming off from it. So that's why, uh, because it's so fiery, but um, could most definitely be a woman as well. But they're just like, you're my sunshine. You like everything that I ever wanted. And it's like, you know, it's like really that energy. It's like you're everything to them. So that's why they just don't know how to act. You make them nervous in what I'm hearing. So <laughs> it's Gemini. It's so cute though. Um, I know that you're. some of you guys are still healing from a relationship and... You're just not ready for all of that. But I think most definitely that it could be something serious. Because this person is really crazy about you. And if it's not, if it's not something love related. Then I just see. That you're going from things created in the mind. Like having ideas and having visions and maybe even having very lucid dreams about it and writing it down and, you know, thinking about how you're going to do something. And then you just decide to get on your horse and actually, you know, actively starting to manifest it and doing it. You're out here doing it, Gemini. And that's what they're set, uh, they said to me while I was meditating. They said, you're very close to achieving a, a goal. And they also told me that luck is really on your side. And I see that all over your reading. Um, so, like I said, it could be when you go from like a mental space, like thinking about it, working it out, then actively starting to apply that. You're out there doing it. People are seeing your work. They're liking your work. And here you are feeling so goddamn good about it. Just feeling good. And here we have that inner child energy again, you know. And maybe you, some of you guys are trying to, um, you know, that's for some of you, not for all of you. You guys are really, 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 really focused on getting pregnant this year or this month. But let's just put it on this year. And you're just like, we're just going to go all in. You know, we're just going to see where, where, where it goes. But I do definitely see that. There's some some really good news when it comes to that about it. So I really feel that there's a big opportunity that a child is coming to you this year. So yeah, of course you will have to wait. <laughs> it's not gonna come within a month, but I do see that it's in 
an energy around you like this, this, this there is this child around you and I almost feel like it became such a big thing because you um you've been wanting this for years you know and that's for some of you not for all of you maybe it's a work thing that you're trying to give birth to right but when it comes to people with with a, with a huge child with and it just hasn't come true for you yet it hasn't come into fruition it can become this really big thing right it's like almost um everything is starting to um be about that the way you eat the way you sleep the way you when you have you know the action the fire action <laughs> you know and the action is almost not the action anymore it's just you know a practical thing we got to do on that day when that time you got to be home i don't care where you're at <laughs> be home okay <laughs> almost that energy and it can become such a big thing and everything is about it and then you're just like you know what if it happens it happens I'm just going to swift my focus a little bit somewhere else. Of course, I still want it, but I also got to live my life. And then, bum, there you go. Because I see you, Tammy, like it's almost like you're nurturing the lion. The lion is, is soft, you know, but the lion can be also very intimidating. And I feel that maybe it was an energetic thing. Maybe it has something to do with your partner. You know, sometimes they just can't really uh, provide when they feel too much stress on it. And that's not something they do in the mind. It's something the body does. Man. <laughs> Man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was just joking. Anyway, uh, Gemini looks amazing. Okay. It's a little bit of everything this month. But as long as you know where to put your focus, as long as you don't get distracted by the people that are just talking about you and not with you, you feel it, you know it. Trust that intuition, don't lose contact with that one because you are going here, okay? Look at that, look at that, okay? Bum. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles, so luck is most definitely on your side. Don't lose faith, don't give up. It's gonna be perfect. And you're very, very close to achieving a goal. So that could be your goal. But I feel also it has to do about bringing something out into the world and people responding very positive to, to, positively to it. And there is some note and they wanted me to because I wanted to uh, uh, switch to the pick a card reading that I'm going to do for you guys. But they showed me like some of them are going to get a proposed. Now I'm always very hesitant with saying that because I don't want to put people's hopes up and stuff. But uh, for, and I also don't want to spoil things, you know. It's like, oh yeah, I kind of already knew, you know, because I watched this reading and... Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you want to be surprised when the person goes down on one knee or, you know. <laughs> um, but there, there is some energy surrounding you guys. And I really just feel like it's it's like springtime energy. So maybe by that time you already forgot about it. Anyway, it is here on the table for some of you. Okay. So I just wanted to let you guys know because they kept saying like, Proposal, proposal, proposal. It's like, yeah, I know, but also don't want to, you know, spoil the moment. <laughs> um, anyway, um, guys, I'm going to switch to pick a card reading, a, a small one. I'm going to put three cards out on the table if you want to join and keep watching. If not, then thank you so much for watching the tarot reading. And I'll be back with the February reading very soon. Let me put some lip balm on. Oh, this is such a... Mm, so good. Um, and I'm <laughs> sorry. I don't know. I'm really a little bit hyper today. It's the energy though. So anyway, if you've never um, attended a pick a card reading, I'm going to put three cards out on the table. Take all the time you need to pick your card. And that's your message for January. You can also pick two or three if you feel guided to. Just go with your intuition. 
And you can pause the reading if you need time to focus on it a little bit more. Um, and if not, then just continue watching. <laughs> okay, can't use that one because I can't flip it upside. Sorry. I need three cards for my Gemini's. Okay, that's number one. Upside down. Number two. He doesn't want to go. Sorry. Number two. Number three. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So these are your three cards. You can, this number one, number two, number three, you can pause the video if you want to, focus on the cards. Um, we're gonna get started with the first one. Number one. Wow, independent. You are in, your, sorry, your independence is a foundation for your strength and your success. So being independent is very, very important for you to, to bring in that sun, to shine on you, to bring in that ten of pentacles, to bring in um, that ten of cups. It's your all. It's rested on your independence. Beautiful. It's your foundation for your strength and your success this year. Okay. Beautiful. Oh, that's such an amazing card, isn't it? I love it. Sorry. Anyway, number two. <laughs> That's so funny. Didn't I say I can't pick her because it's Zing? It was her. So she was like, you can't pick me? Sorry, what? <laughs> Let me just come out again, okay? Inner wisdom, very beautiful card. Gemini, it says, you know what to do. Trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay. That's about that person. That's about that inner wisdom, about that inner knowing where to go with that one. So, also trust, um, keep a lookout for the owls this month. Like, you can see them in different places. Just know when you see them, what you're thinking at that moment, you know, is the right thing. It's connected to your intuition this month. Yeah, okay. Number three. Again, unconditional love. Beautiful card. I had this earlier on for Libra, I believe. Love yourself, others, and every situation, no matter what the outward appearance may be. Send them love. Send them love and light. But love yourself first, Gemini, and love yourself unconditionally. No matter what you feel like, no matter what you look like, no matter where you are, no matter how much money you got in a bank, no matter you know, anything, no matter if you're single, in a relationship or whatever, love yourself first and unconditionally. Beautiful cards, okay? No matter what the outward appearance may be. Okay. Okay, Gemini, that was your reading for January. I hope you guys enjoyed it and it was helpful for some of you guys. I'll be back with the February reading soon. And uh, for now, just have a lovely January. Enjoy yourself. Don't be too hard on yourself, okay? It's a new year, yes. But we can start, you know, relaxed. <laughs> okay. Love you, Geminis. Bye.